Dr. Ted Venema Talks Audiology, the educational whiteboard series brought to you by Next Gen Hearing. Hi, I'm Ted Venema, here to talk to you today about sudden sensory neural hearing loss. Some people call it sudden idiopathic deafness. The word idio or idiot is in there because we simply don't always know the reason. In fact, we seldom do. It's one of the least known hearing losses around. The causes of it are quite elusive. But the main thing to stress is early treatment. Cortical steroids are a great treatment given by ear, nose, and throat physicians. But again, I stress the importance of getting the patient to this stage as quick as possible within the first two days of the sudden idiopathic deafness or sudden sensory neural hearing loss. In contrast to many other hearing losses, it happens in one ear. It's very important for physicians when they first see the patient reporting the sudden hearing loss, physicians need to rule out the conductive hearing loss right away because sudden sensory neural hearing loss is not a conductive hearing loss. So we've got to rule out impaction of cerumen, rule out middle ear pathology, and this, again, I stress, should be done as quick as possible so that the patient can get referred to an ENT quickly. So the thing here is not to treat it like a nuisance. Don't put it off. It's to be treated quite as an emergency. The prevalence of sudden sensory neural hearing loss is about 5 to 20 in 100,000 people. Happens equally to males and females. Happens to people usually between 30 and 50 years of age. In contrast to this, other unilateral sensory neural losses Eighth nerve tumors occur at a prevalence of about 1 in 100,000 people. And Meniere's disease, another unilateral sensory neural pathology, occurs at a prevalence of about 200 in 100,000 people. Bilateral sensory neural hearing loss is, of course, way more common. Presbycusis, of course, being the most common of these bilateral hearing losses. And it's simply due to hair cell damage, usually outer hair cell damage. Unilateral sensory neural hearing loss, for example, Meniere's eighth nerve tumor, these things are more gradual. They occur gradually over the course of time. And all of these pathologies occur gradually. The thing about all of these different pathologies is that differential diagnosis can be done by way of audiometric tests. But sudden sensory neural hearing loss is a lot less well known. And it's not always easy to differentially diagnose. This is why it's so important to get a referral to an ENT as quick as possible. The criteria generally for assessing sudden sensory neural loss is a hearing loss of at least 30 decibels across three adjacent frequencies on the audiogram or the audiometric test. You Usually, however, sudden sensory neural hearing loss is a lot greater than this in degree. People have noticed it as a sudden popping in the ear, or sometimes it occurs over the course of one or two days. Sometimes people wake up with it, a sudden sensory neural loss. Sometimes people notice it with the telephone, and they, they notice a huge difference between the hearing of the ears. The important thing is, quick treatment. The treatment is usually corticosteroids within two days. This can, might be able to reverse in some lucky cases or at least stem the tide of the, of the disease. So sudden sensory neural hearing loss is not always curable, but the important thing is, is to get the patient on corticosteroids ASAP as soon as possible. Many Good ear, nose, and throat physicians take referrals straight from non-physician hearing health care providers, such as audiologists or hearing instrument practitioners. And again, the essence of this is so that the patient can be seen as quick as possible. Thanks for listening to this little talk on sudden sensory neural hearing loss or sudden idiopathic deafness. It's to be taken quite seriously. Thanks for listening. See you next time.